The words I'm about to, re uh, about to read out to you are words that have been written by David and Theresa Yates. They're representative of their thoughts and their feelings as they've gone through this whole process that they've set it up today. We attended the trial of Joe's murderer, not to see justice handed out to him, but to find out as much as we could about what really happened from the time when Joe disappeared to when Joe's murderer was arrested. We never considered this trial as a process of justice for Joe. The last four weeks have been more stressful and intense than we ever imagined. Although we'd been made aware of the nature of much of the evidence against Joe's killer, some of the details which came out were a surprise. There was never any doubt in our minds that Joe had been murdered and that we fully expected him to lie when he went into the witness box. We came here with little hope or expectation of hearing what happened on the 17th of December, but needed to see him and to hear what he had to say firsthand. We saw no emotion or remorse or regret for what he did to Joe. We felt that all emotion expressed by him were false. All we heard were words of self-pity. For us, it is with regret that capital punishment is not a possible option for his sentence. The best we can hope for him is that he spends the rest of his life incarcerated, where his, li his life is a living hell, being the recipient of all evils, deprivations and degradations that th his situation can provide. For ourselves, this trial has had little effect on our lives. We have still lost our daughter and our son has lost a sister. Our main sorrow is that Jo was not allowed to start her own family, have children and achieve her potential. We will never get over our loss, how she was murdered and the total lack of respect with which her body was treated. We so miss hearing her happy voice and seeing her living life to full. Ever since Jo was first reported missing, we have received many many cards and letters, mostly from people we have never met, giving us support and well wishes. We thank all of those people for their thoughts and for the time and trouble that they, they've taken to actually get in contact with us. It has touched us to the core, the physical tributes uh, have been made to remember Joe, from Joe's university friends, a tree at Riffle College where Joe obtained her degree, from the Landscape Institute at Hillier's and Hillier's Gardens, uh, an area in the Hilliers Gardens near to our home dedicated to Joe, from BDP where she was working at the time of her death, a number of tributes including an annual award in her name at the University of Gloucester, and from HED a flowering cherry tree. Thank you all for your thoughts. We would like to thank the police liaison officers Emma and Russ for their consideration towards us and as far as they could, as far as they could keeping us informed of developments. We would also like to express our appreciation to the members of Operation Braid for giving up their time, especially over the festive period, and their efforts in appreh apprehending Joe's killer. Lastly, we would like to thank the media for not pestering us and giving us space to try and start coming to terms with our loss. We would ask you to continue to give us the same consideration and respect that you've given us since, Joe, since when Joe first went missing. Thank you.